Okay, YouTube, we got a uh, 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan. And we're going to replace this bad boy because it's not, she's no chooching. <laughs> um, now, I, the only videos that I've seen on YouTube, there's one poor guy, uh, he tried peeling this bezel off and all, all, this broke off and then the bottom he couldn't get out and he couldn't get the top out and all kinds of weird stuff was going on. He ended up breaking this and having all kinds of issues. The way to get this apart starts up here. So you're going to start with this bezel here. If you got tough fingernails, you can just grab this sucker and start working it out. There you go. Hopefully that pops right out or doesn't pop right back in again. So that bezel is just in there with these little spring clips. You can pull that right out and it kind of does tip up a little bit when you pull it. So you can just set that off to the side. Now you've got four screws that hold the radio in. And they always want to fall down here, of course, because there's a place for them to go. Now, the reason that we have to get the radio out is because of these screws that are way up in there that actually hold the top of this bezel in that that guy that I mentioned before could not get out. Um, he didn't understand that why the top wouldn't come out I guess but uh, he still accomplished his task so uh, hey hats off to you buddy you got it all right now them four screws are out the radio should wiggle right out of there oh never been out before so it's gonna be a bugger all right should be enough room just to prop that up out of the way now these two screws right here are all that's holding the top of this thing in So I think those are the exact same screws as what the radio is held in with, looks like it. So now the top is, it's loose. Now this is going to be held in with the same kind of stupid springy little clip, so it's going to be a bugger to get out. And this is where he was ripping the, uh, the chrome off and breaking it. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to grab a flat screwdriver real quick. Hold on. All right. Got the big bad boy. Now I want to... Now, if you're worried about scratching this up, which obviously I'm not, then you want to... They make a plastic flat tool that's just for prying things like this apart. Um, I... Uh, this is my own personal vehicle and I kind of use it for a work truck. I beat the hell out of the poor thing, honestly. But it, they come out pretty easy, so it didn't take anything. I didn't do any damage to that. So now this whole unit pops right out. So now we're down to, oh shit. Okay, we got some torques. <laughs> but... We can unplug these suckers. And these are just the standard where you push, you depress the little tab to unlock it and just pull them out. They're all three like that. And they're, they're all, yep, they're all different. So you can't, you can't even possibly plug them in all screwed up. So now we just got to get a Torx that'll fit that. It's probably, I don't know, a T8 or T9. I'm see, we'll see how close I am. Hold on. Okay, I'm an idiot. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking um, millimeters on freaking uh, Allen wrenches instead of actual actual torques. This is a T15. I was way off. Those are definitely different than the other screws. So set those off to the side a little bit. I think the hardest part of this is just not losing shit. Obviously, you can see all, all my junk that I just have laying around in my vehicle. I just, it's definitely just a work truck for me, so. 
And there she be. That's her, boys, the troublemaker. So we got hopefully the, the fix for the problem here. So just uh, all you're going to need is a flat screwdriver for prying tool or some kind of flat uh, plastic one. And then uh, just for popping those out. A regular number two Phillips and a T15 Torx driver. One done dealio right there, boys. Plug the shit in where the shit goes. Just like yonder. Put it all the way in. Just like everything, boys. Put it all the way in. Get them little clippies in there. Oh, that's freaking out. Oh, she's cycling some stuff. Look out. She's going to blow. All right. I'll get that in there. I'll drop it. So. Now, wiggle it in. Oh, and she clicks and pops just the way she should. The bezel, ta-da, boys, there she is, all fixed up and ready to rock and roll and sexy as frig in a few minutes, easy as pie. Ta-da!